Yo, it's a stupidly small podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's midweek. I mean, let's just keep going. It's stupidly it's, small podcast. Well, it's a fishing show. It's Wednesday, the seventh of October, twenty fifteen. Thank God for that. Well, what could the get a bit cameo was... with the word yeah. up? Hello there, Lauren Clark. Ah, hello, Stuart Farrell. How are I'm you sorry, all? Look, we honestly are going to have a very uh, serious program this morning mm. after that uh, introduction. Look, I apologise. The only way is up, frankly. Um, well, that's right. Said hey. Yes. yes. You're looking sharp. Well, thank you. Uh, it's probably why I'm a bit dizzy in the head, though, because I have uh, obviously haven't got any sugar in me. I it's haven't the start got the of... two pies that I keep in the drawer next to my bed <laughs> before I get up. I haven't had those this morning, so... It's the start of uh, your fat club that you're running today. Fat club has begun. So what does that mean for everybody who's involved in fat club? Because you keep talking up as if there's a horde of listeners involved in fat club. Well, there was a lot what of people are you all that doing? wanted to be involved. They just stopped. So what are you doing? Short of being involved. Hey? So what is it? Involve them. How do they oh, get involved? All right. What is this, it? This is what we do. What is your plan? This is the plan. Now, what's today? It's uh, 7th of October. So mm. I'm going to do some quick math on air. And that's maths. Yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> oh, you've got to show your workings. I reckon 12 weeks before Christmas. Does that sound right? Yeah, it does. Maybe even 11. All right. Well, let's let's call it 11. Yeah. In 11 weeks, fatters, and that's what no, we are. No, no, no. You can't call them fatters. We're fatters. No. Nah. We're proud. No. We're fat and we're proud. No, but you're not because you're trying not to be fat, so you're not proud. We're fatters. That means we're, we're on the move. Defatners, maybe. No, I don't like defat. Defat. <laughs> defat. Don't like defat. No. <laughs> Not your favourite government department. No. <laughs> defat. Um, okay. Fatters. All right. Well, no so wonder fatters. no one wants to join. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we we aim to lose fifteen kilos by Christmas. Unreal. Yeah. That's uh, really sounds extremely healthy. It is. It's, uh, it's less than um, a kilo and a half a week. Yeah. It's easily done. So if you want to get into those board shorts, fit into that rashy a little bit better. <laughs> Um, perhaps look hot for someone at New Year's or just look hot for yourself when you look in the mirror and jump out of the shower. The key thing is feel better. The key thing is feel better and live longer so you can listen to yeah. more stupidly small podcasts. True. 15 kgs, Fat Club starts this morning, the 7th of October. No, see, I don't think you can set other people's fat goals for them, like weight loss goals, because you could lose this amount, they could lose more or less depending on their body mass. So and how, do, how do we become a club? Isn't See, what's the idea of a club? Because if we were to, to be a club, the we need to have would, a common goal. The, re, well, the reason we would lose weight together in a club is so that you don't cheat yourself. You've got to have other people. It's why people have personal trainers, to have somebody there who's like, no, 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 you did not just do 20, you, you're pretending. Do 20 now. Do 50. No, Keep going. Yeah, this Whatever. is where we differ. And if you insist that everybody loses the same amount of money, what if a 15-kilogram person wants to be a member of Fat Club? Well, we're going to have a four-kilo tennis ball to uh, throw around at Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I just think you need... As if a (laughs) 15-kilo... Hey, what sort of example is that? you went with me on that. That's something my mum would say. (laughs) Oh, well, I, I... I, I like you being fat, and I don't think I should have to lose. You know, like my mum would always, my mum would organize or um, argue the mm. opposite view of anything. Right. Even if the opposite view <laughs> was the most r- ridiculous or repulsive, <laughs> or you know, or oh, some people might like anti might like apartheid, or some people might, <laughs> right. you know, <laughs> yeah. like segregation. Yeah. Or, like, uh, yeah, yeah, but why? Why are you even making that argument? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. Uh, or some oh, people might like undercooked chicken. It's 15. like whatever it is. <laughs> a 15 kilogram. It's funny the voices we all do for our mums. My mum's always got a British accent. <laughs> Your mum's very calm and, and pommy. My mum's a bit more intense uh, and high pitched. Yours is always doing a little thing with her head. But she wiggles when she talks. I've, I've met her twice. Uh, she yeah, doesn't right. do it when I talk to her. Oh, she but you do if, it. if you're at a barbecue with her, you'll see it. Right. Because she gets a bit... Uh, have you eaten the chicken or, you know, right. there's something, always, there's always something to do with the chicken. But you always give them, there's always something that you do when you're being your mum that's not, like my mum is not British. No, she's not. She's lovely. <laughs> but I always do, Lauren, how are you? Like it's, it's vaguely kind of, it's like a British um, you know, news like Grace Jones. If you, you know, when like you Grace just, when you just, well, to look not at. an appearance, 
If you put your mum next to Grace Jones, they wouldn't look they exactly like sisters. Scottish but white woman, but anyway. <laughs> this is Grace Jones. But yeah. you, you give her a stern coolness. Yes. You Which know? is a little bit I don't think it's of necessarily a characterization. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Anyway. So Do you fa- have a dad impression? No. I don't actually. Can yeah. I, can I, mate? I don't know. Funny. I wonder if people have dad impressions. Surely they do. <sighs> they have particularly. But when I'm talking about my mum, I'm always doing a slight character. And I know a lot of people have character mum, mum characters that they do. Mm. Anyway, this is a theory. It's, it's not really. It's not having been thought through at all. What are we talking about? I have no idea. I know one uh, thing. It's very a quick podcast this morning because yeah. uh, you have warned me yeah. before we got into the office this morning that uh, we have both on a tight schedule. We're on a very tight so schedule. So instead of wasting... Schedgy. Do you know what else? You say schedgy <coughs> or shedzy? No, not shedzy. Mm. Schedgy. Shedzy. Schedule. Yes, yeah, I suppose we can't shorten it because everybody disagrees about the first ha- half of the word. Schedule or schedule? Schedule, I say. I say schedule. Skedzy. Skedzy. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> I like that we've come to this agreement. Yeah. Are we talking about anything at all? Basically. It's Wednesday though. Remember uh, what no, happens on Wednesdays and we were in a bit it of a hurry. It used to be Tuesdays. Now it's Wednesdays. I, um, mm, Tuesdays are good. I have builders um, turning up to the house and things. Yes, congratulations. I know. No, because the whole house leaked onto the Liberal staffer downstairs. Remember mm. I told everybody I this that. a few People weeks ago. People were quite impressed by that, by the way. It was like you were, it was, uh, you deliberate. were like, <laughs> it was a political move <laughs> on your behalf. Well, the fixing is still, con- is, it continues. Right. But just before we, uh, we go to look at what's in our phone, mm. let me tell you, if you are, as the man is who has been fixing things in my house. The man. The man. Yeah, get a man around. There's mm-hmm. a man. If you are the man... No, hang on. If you are a yes. tradie, uh, right, and you do the following, arrive time. on time and clean up after yourself. Is this the Matt Bush or the uh, Bushy, uh, one of the Bushes uh, thing, isn't it? Matt Bush being Ben's brother, mm. a Bushy being uh, an old mate of ours. Yeah, uh, Ben told me once that being on time, not listening to terrible music... And cleaning up after yourself. Are the th- that's the holy grail of if you get that right, you'll be hired again for a job. And it's word of mouth and you do the first job right, yet you, yeah. you've got a client for life. Well, this guy came last week. Mm-hmm. He arrived on time, bang on. Like the clock went ding, doorbell rang, right? Which is a bit weird. Meant he might have been waiting out the front. <laughs> Trust you. Anyway, <laughs> he was on time. Right, yeah. And he vacuumed the house before I got home. Didn't he know he had a vacuum cleaner here? He's put on RoboBox no, or whatever he, the hell it is. Oh, no, 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 no. He did the stairs, which RoboBox can't do. Oh, I'm sorry, I just yelled into my phone. Uh, because <laughs> he was traipsing up and down his dirty boots. Yeah, but I, look, I saw what he'd done and it wasn't that bad. But he just did the whole stairs and he did the part, the, the... Oh, this is the same gentleman who helped us lift that disgusting pig of a couch onto the roof <laughs> of my car. <laughs> Yes. So, yeah, Good guy. He, he wants points, all right. Points all over the place. Well, he can see that um, neither yourself or your uh, other half are going to be doing much sort of he's manual labour around the place. He's going, I, I, I can pay, put my kids through uni with these two. <laughs> so he, he'll vacuum, Well, I look he'll forward to him coming today. Five minutes. I'm thinking I might go down the road and get him some, like, you know, biscotti or something and give him a cup well, of coffee. Why he'll be gussied up? <laughs> Cut it out. Stupid. Stuart, you. What's in your phone? Well, my phone is uh, <laughs> chock a block. Yes. Will you actually ask me or? No, genuinely. Oh, yeah. It's chock a block full of um, suggestions from great listeners. Awesome. Uh, or awesome listeners, sure. Uh, about the festival of stupidly small ideas, which is coming up uh, in I think two and a half weeks or something like that. And we're here. Mm. I've got a reminder. Just went off uh, just before you went to air. Yeah. Uh, to say that. The cut-off date yes. for uh, our small really. family, submissions, yeah. that's right, uh, will be close of business yeah. 
on Wednesday the 14th of October. Because I do believe we have a start date of maybe being the... Probably about the 12th of October is the start of the... Does that make sense? No, because that's earlier the week than after. The, yeah, it's the week after. So the 19th. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I, I kind of... Kind yeah. of I'm trying to work at doing my numbers in my head. I'm going backwards. You yeah, are. Well. Yes. <sighs> yes. Okay. So basically, we you, pro- well, you, you want, need you to, to organise these things. I can't get the date. <laughs> you need to submit to us hmm. ideas for a festival. Now, just to recap, we did decide we wanted to do a festival because <laughs> last submissions for the start of the twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> the festival starts. Are you yeah. pick on me from my math. Yeah, no. um, the uh, was like, was like, oh yeah. So the idea was that we wanted to start. We decided we could start a festival if anyone can do it, which it seems anyone can because mm. everyone does. Why don't we? Just explore a lot of stupidly small ideas and see what comes of those explorations, those panel sessions between the two of us um, that take place. Well, so and special guests, maybe potentially. Anyway, I know I'm a pre. Oh, look, you're a pre announcer, like nothing else. I like know. we've barely had the thought, and it's like, oh, I get excited. It's just, it's just. Uh, Anyway, why do you hate me so much? I don't. I adore you, but you are a ridiculous man on many levels, and I feel that it's my place to say that. Okay. Anyway, so point being, we love. There have been some little ideas, like little, tiny ones. There have also been some massive ones, like that really encapsulate mm. like whole planets of other ideas. And I encourage more because I don't think we've quite <laughs> got enough, Stuart Farrell. We've got a week to get your ideas. We've got a week in. to get your ideas. They can be questions. They can be ideas. They can be recommendations that we can like interrogate and go, ooh, well, they, th- they suggest this book is good. Well, you know, somebody could suggest a film for you to review because you're such a good film reviewer. <laughs> now, that's unfair. My, uh, my reviews come from the heart. No, they're great. They're great. Certainly they're they great. come from the head, that's for sure. <laughs> that is true. The oh, science the does prove. Um, however, please... Do submit. And you could submit any way you like. You can submit to the stupidlybig.com website. You can submit on Facebook, on Twitter. We're stupidly big on both of those things. You can find us. You can actually email, not email us, mail us, P.O. Box 1436 Fitzroy North 3068. Or you can leave us a voicemail, which you can do through the website. I was going to say, we haven't Mm. had many voicemails for stupidly small festival of ideas that aren't that big. Yeah. So (laughs) if you could... Give us a couple. Oh, we'd like it because it means that... Oh, we'd we, like it. I know. <laughs> I said to you, I sounded like... Who did I sound like? From prison. Oh, we'd like it. Oh, oh anyway, we like uh, that, wouldn't we? Frank, what's his name? Frank Thring? No, no. Frank uh, Spencer. <laughs> yeah, Frank Spencer. <laughs> oh, Betty. Yeah, that's it. God, Betty. that's ancient. Anyway, look, please do help us out because we... It, it kind of isn't going to work unless you guys come on board and help us out. And th- to those of you who have, may I say, excellent. I don't think there's been a dud one yet. I was going to say, everyone has actually gotten the concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So absolutely. it's going to be a great festival regardless. No, no. I mean, we've got our own stuff we have to bring to the table. We want to incorporate yours and we're going yeah. to have guests, maybe because Lawrence just punched me in the face with her eyes. But <laughs> <laughs> Organising guests is the hard part. Having guests is. is the joy. Yeah. Um, however, Stuart... Lauren. We'll let people go and do that. They can submit that in, in any of their ideas in any way they like. And can I say one thing? Yes. Uh, to everyone out there participating in Fat Club in your own special way, let's share this journey together till Christmas. <laughs> and uh, I've got your back. I've got your fat. I'm so going to follow up on this Fat Club business. Uh, uh, look, uh, if I you reckon, want. I reckon I'm more likely to lose 15 well, there's, a, there's a very, <laughs> very, very big chance that I could lose that bet. But you, you know, you have a secret. Weight loss w- technique. Weight loss technique. I do. But, uh, I do. Should, I mean, I might want to try myself on that. You should. It's um, It doesn't involve crash dieting and then having 10 burgers. What does it involve? In a, in a day. It doesn't, I promise. Mm. Uh, Stu Farrell, see you tomorrow. Loz, you're the best. <laughs> Bye-bye.